frog. Plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. <laughs> Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Oh, breadstick. Oh, oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils would benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Nine <laughs> percent? You are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir, observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. <laughs> Let's go serve up some fun. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <coughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. One of them is a dog. Oh, oh. Walter, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter. Lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. No. <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. Hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, hear that ball? A family reunion. Forty packs of fish fingers. Fifth. Fifty large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake. No mistake, doll. No. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. What's all this about? <laughs> Half a ton of live lobsters? My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket! <laughs> Full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Really, I didn't order any of those things! OK, I'm back! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now! You what?! Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we gotta do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody gotta chill right now, or else. <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but. <laughs> Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now. We just need to... Sorry. All gone. <laughs> and then there's Mrs. Nasher, Nasher, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> 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 OK. Plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Uh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean? Next! Great to have you back, Brenda. Rush, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Aus! Aus, 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 aus! is brilliant at keeping our treehouse a pest-free zone. Claudius! Claudius! Oops! Speaking of pests... <laughs> what have you done with Claudius? Your monkey Moggy attacked us. Only because your mouldy mud chased him up there. Out of my way, I'm coming in. Into our treehouse? No way. Just you try and stop me. Man the defences, menaces! Intruders. Result! <laughs> As if we let Walter or anyone into our treehouse. <laughs> Best den in the history of Beano Town. Best den in the history of the world. Oh, cool. Can I come and see it? <gasps> no, sorry. <laughs> no, not possible. Menace's only zone. No can do. Um, did you just say no to me? Uh, yep. Don't worry, Angel Face. I've seen their den. It's rubbish. My new den is far cooler than theirs. Really? What new den? Ta da! Perfecto! You're a genius, Walter! An evil genius! <laughs> You're too kind. Took me all night to design these ownership papers for the treehouse. Nobody will know they're fake! <laughs> Except me. <gasps> Angel Face, hand over that document. What's in it for me? You want to get into Dennis's treehouse, don't you? Well, I can help you if you help me. What do you need? <laughs> D and G, track Walter's den with our secret weapon. Nash! One menace that dog sled? Ready to mush! Nasha, you know what to do. Nash! Nash! Something to show you. Huh? Boost, Nasha! Boost! Oh, 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 oh! Not in there, Dennis! Oh! No! Cool! Baby's got an underwater head! Chase all over town. Yep. <laughs> Fun, wasn't it? 
Oh, not really. Ow! Oh, oh, don't worry, Pie Face. Walter said once you'd finally caught up with me, I could take you to his new den. So, what are we waiting for? Of course, I'll have to blindfold you. Don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> oh, are we nearly there yet? I'm hungry. Oh, we're here, all right. Ah. What? Welcome to my treehouse. This treehouse belongs to us. No, this treehouse belongs to me. Go ask your dad. The treehouse does belong to Walter. <gasps> He came earlier and showed us the property deeds. The properly what? Ownership papers, usually kept in Mayor Scrimp's office. They say the tree and the treehouse belong to Walter's family. Walter owns the treehouse? That can't be right. I guess we'll need a new hideout. I know the perfect place. Pie face, sitting in your dad's old pie boxes in his pie shop is not the perfect place. Of course it is. Close to home, pies on tap. Perfect. Isn't that right, Paul? What do you mean, no? <laughs> lush, 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 lush. Uh, at least someone's happy. We are menaces, and we are not letting Walter take our treehouse. We're taking it back. Nash, this is the treehouse. Walter's the pepper pot, me, Nasha, Curly, Pie Face. We sneak in, dodge our own traps, and take back what's <laughs> ours. <laughs> oh, tasty bun, Daddy. <laughs> We've been expecting you, Dennis. Bring it on. Walter, look, I'll pop down to the town hall first thing in the morning and get you a copy. The town hall? No, well, I, um, I mean... You mean those papers of yours are fake? The treehouse never belonged to you, Walter. No, I mean, uh, no need. I've gone off this place. You can keep your stupid treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> The treehouse was way too easy to break into. We need an old mattress, a broken bicycle, and all the baked beans we can carry. In the morning, thank you. I've had enough excitement for one night. Walter, I'm coming in. Now! <laughs> old baked beans, Dennis! Woohoo! <laughs> It's good to be home. Ash! Ash! Everything ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. 
Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two... Nasha! <laughs> Potato? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The spud space program's going to have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah. Last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasha, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car wash. Look, Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have five... Thousand stars. We'll pull in uh, <laughs> two million cars. Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly. We've a menace car wash to set up. And five thousand. <laughs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. <laughs> oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 mils raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. Ooh. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalise the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. <laughs> Time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Precedes you, Dennis. Oh, he's right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Ah, uh, technically we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're gonna get it back. A first-class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Up for Beano Town's fastest car wash. <laughs> Lower fee and poop free. Huh? Uh, there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you very much. an adversary. This means war! Uh-oh. Porridge? Baked beans? And... Is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare and endangered... Wooden beaked warbler! Uh, who, uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd, of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no, I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm -hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. <laughs> Target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. I will turn it off. Off? Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Crash, uh -oh. crash. Beano Town morning. I can't wait to get to 
school and hand in my homework. There's only one thing for it, even if it means sacrificing my homework. <laughs> I don't have my homework. Bravo! Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, don't clap. Dennis is clearly lying. Yes, but with such verve and imagination. Class, this is Mr. Blake Midwinter. He's an actor from the television. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, little boy. You may have seen my acclaimed performance as a man in park in that crisps commercial. <clears throat> Nay, squirrel, these are not for you to nibble on. End of scene. Mr. Midwinter is going to help us with this year's school play. That's right. Thank you, Mrs. C. I'll take it from here. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And I do believe we've already found our Jack. <gasps> um, surely the lead role should go to someone artistic? Exactly. And Dennis here clearly has a wild flair for dramatic improvisation. I have what now? He says you have wild hair for drastic improvement. Hey, I'm not brushing my hair for anyone. Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I'm out. Oh, sadness. No, your words strike like arrows at my heart. <sighs> oh, well, the show must go on. Auditions are tomorrow lunchtime. But I must warn you, the rehearsals will be very demanding and mean missing a lot of lessons. Miss lessons? Wait! I'm in again! Huzzah! A star is born! Like you said, the show must go on! There are still plenty of parts to audition for, and Headmaster Detesta has very kindly insisted on helping me choose the rest of the cast. Next, we have Angel Face Detesta reading for the princess. Oh no! Here comes the giant! Jack, look out! Bravo! <laughs> Beautiful! Such poise! Such grace! A perfect princess! I don't believe we need to see anyone else for the role. Thanks, Dad. Okay, everybody, let's rehearse. Curly and Pie Face are the giant. Angel Face is the princess. Walter is the bean seller. And Dennis is our fearless Jack. Please, no autographs. <laughs> Now, in this extremely moving scene, Jack is with one of the most important characters in the play. The bean seller! No, no. I mean Jack's cow. But who should play the cow? Who should play the cow? Come on, come on. You both look marvelous in that costume. This isn't even a cow. It's a horse. Yes, but the magic of theater will make the audience believe it's a cow. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh there's a funny smell in there. Ah, oh, yes, that may be me. It's uh, Cabbage Thursday in the canteen, you see. I've got a much better idea than that moldy old costume. Presenting Jack's cow. Yes. Oh. The dog can't play a cow. It's genius. Oh yes, it's even better than a horse. It's playful yet surprising. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Okay, let's get the bean seller scene out of the way, and then we can move on to the big romantic finale where Jack kisses. The princess. Right, I'll just... <laughs> Hang on. That sounded like you said something about kissing. Oh, dear, Dennis. Uh, haven't you read the script? Page 30, Jack gives the princess a big kiss. In front of the whole school. Kiss a girl? <laughs> Angel Face, you don't want to kiss me. I haven't had a bath in a week. Of course I didn't want to kiss you, but the Beano Town Gazette are sending a photographer, and if kissing you gets my picture on the front page, then 
I'll do it. And scrub my mouth afterwards. <laughs> Everyone will see Dennis the Menace smooching the headmaster's daughter. <laughs> um, Mr Midwinter, I I'm having second thoughts about the play. And third thoughts, too. And they're both... <laughs> well, of course I can't force you to do the play, Dennis. <sighs> I knew you'd understand. But if you do drop out... I'll make sure you get double all the lessons you've missed. So, what do we say? The show must go on. Dennis, what are you gonna do? If you oh, kiss a girl in front of everyone, you'll never live it down. I know, but Mr. Midwinter won't let me give up the play. Oh. Ah, but it wouldn't be my fault if he kicked me out, would it? Morning, everyone. Places, please. From the top of Act Two, a Jack climbs the beanstalk and sees the giant. Look, the beans have grown into a huge beanstalk. I told you they were magic. Thank you, kind bean seller. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to feed my cow. He must be hungry. <laughs> Totally understand if you don't want me in the play anymore, so I'll just get going. What are you talking about? That was brilliant! So raw, so spontaneous, so so in the moment. You know, you remind me of a young me. <gasps> okay, now let's try the kissing scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course! Thanks, Nasha! Okay! Hook her up, Angel Face! Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, just coming down with a bit of a cold. <laughs> oh, keep your jabs to yourself. I need to look my best for the paparazzi. Oh, no. Well, we don't want anyone getting sick before opening night. Maybe we should skip the kissing scene for now. Ah, good old face snot. That should keep me kiss-free till this is all over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jack and the Beanstalk. Adapted, choreographed, designed, and directed by uh, your humble servant, Blake Midwinter. Yo, look, it's Man in Park from that crisp commercial. <laughs> Make sure you get a good shot of the most talented actress, my daughter. I'm Jack, a humble farmer boy, taking my cow to market. Nash, no. I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. <laughs> I think I've had too many beans already. <laughs> <laughs> right, just the kissing scene to go. Time for the fake snot. <laughs> uh, oh. um, we're looking for this. <laughs> now you'll have to kiss Angel Face. <laughs> oh, only one thing for it. You mean? Yes, Curly. Operation Blackout. <gasps> no, not Operation Blackout. What is Operation Blackout? Well, Operation Blackout. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Dennis. Come on, Pyface. <laughs> Time for our big scene and for me to get my picture in the paper. Mm -hmm. You defeated the giant and won the heart of a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Of shame? Angel Face got her picture in the paper. And we got out of lessons. That said, the play was a big hit. <laughs> Just not the kind Mr. Midwinter wanted. Ah, hey. Oh, fool. Ah, this is ah, no. oh, I bet he wishes the show hadn't gone on after all. That's showbiz. No, that's menace biz. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
it must. No, oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Detention. <laughs> Sorry, but we just can't do this. Detention. Places to go, people to menace. Well, you should have thought of that earlier, shouldn't you, Dennis? Please, Mrs. Creature. It'll clear in a few hours. I promise I'll make it up to you. You'll make it up to me by writing a thousand times I will not make stink bombs ever again! Oh, this is bad. Really bad. Oh, what's wrong, Dennis? We've done loads of detentions. Yeah, and it's not that long a sentence. Yeah, but Mayor Scrimp's unveiling his new statue at five o'clock. <laughs> 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 Time for some menacing genius. I have to be there. 3.30. <gasps> Better get a Code 1 menace alert to Nasha to help spring us. <gasps> a Code 1? <laughs> Trust me, it'll be worth it. What about the torturing teacher over there? This calls for a 40 wink blink think to get us out of the clink. And I know just the think. <laughs> I, I mean, thing. And the key for the ref is to make sure the last defender is in line. <laughs> Offside rule nap attack. Works every time. Real curly. Now, let's bust out of here, find Nasha, and leg it to the park. Another faulty ball. I must have a word with the manufacturers. OK. Plan C. <laughs> Aha! The confiscation cupboard. Should be one or two useful things of mine in there. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. <sighs> Phew! That was close. Ooh. Now! Who's good at tying knots? No, 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 Dudley. You've got it all wrong. It was Marla's Seventh Symphony that was in E minor. What the? Uh, well, well, well. I wonder what the headmaster would say if he saw this. Let's find out, shall we? Real plan, Dennis. Just enough time to get a quick bite of pie. No can do. We've got to get to the park before five. Um, <clears throat> Dennis. Sir, this is just the kind of irresponsible behaviour I've come to expect from these rapscallions. What? You snitch, Walter! Uh, what he means is we were just checking that the emergency escape routes are working, you know, in case of an emergency. Yep, no, that all seems to be fine. Oh, please! You're not going to fall for that, are you, Headmaster? What? Oh, no, of course not. I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, of course you weren't. You're much, much, much older than that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. It's better if I keep an eye on them from now on. I already know the offside rule. Are you sure, Headmaster? Yes, yes, don't worry. I've recruited a little extra help. To it, men. I want those prisoners contained. Whatever it takes. He's been listening to too many of the Colonel's war stories. Walter's not the only one we have to get past. No worries. Headmaster, have you met Paul the Potato? Oh, 
thinks you are feeling very sleepy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I see what you're doing. Well, you won't catch me. I mean... Well done, Pie Face. You too, Paul. Right, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, definitely. Brilliant, Dennis. Genius, yeah. No, sorry, no idea. It's finally time for Plan D. Cover me, men. I'm going in. They're coming! Stand by to repel! Fire for... Charge! <laughs> Call that a water pistol. This is a water pistol. <laughs> OK, so they have the doors and the windows covered. But we haven't tried going down. I'm starving. By my calculations, we should be underneath the perimeter fence around about next Tuesday. Well, that's no good, Curly. Got to be there by five o'clock or we'll miss everything. <gasps> What's that noise? My stomach? Nope. I'd know that sound anywhere. <laughs> Brilliant, Nasha. I knew you'd get here. Eventually. <laughs> Nasser got in. <gasps> we can go out the same way. And that's plan D and G. We'll get to the park if we double quick crawl. Lead the way, Pie Face. Oh, sorry, Dennis. Must have been the pies at lunch. Oh, we'll have to make the tunnel a lot bigger. Nasher will sort it out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fantastic! We'll be in the park in time. Ha! Keep it up, men. Those prisoners are slippery. Could pop up anywhere. <laughs> Free at last. Not on my watch. <laughs> Like I said, uh, I'm not the kind of fool to let myself be hypnotized. Ah, sorry, Dennis. It's half past four. I think it's game over. Game what? Over. Pfft, no way! We're Team Menace. We never give up. Evening, ladies. Good night, young man. All right, remember our guard's motto. Be prepared for anything. Those prisoners could make a break for it at any moment. What's Lustre doing here, boys? Detention finished half an hour ago. What? Uh, do tell Walter he can go. Poor boy will be guarding you all night otherwise. <laughs> what about Walter? Oh, we'll let him know eventually. <laughs> Come on! And it gives me great pleasure to have <laughs> my statue. I don't know much about art, Nasha, but I know what I like. Nash, Nash, na, na, Nash. Only a few more hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time to go to Plan L. Plan L? Leggings! <laughs> Some spring.
bringing you a step. Someone say ring. if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Town Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. Oh. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you going to do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still going to have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, miss. Uh, I mean, Mum. Uh, there's a... Uh... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, Miss Mum. Oh. <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okie doke, Miss Mum. No! <coughs> oh! Did. Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. He can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> right, gang. This means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Ah, good to see you settling in. I'm Mr Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. All right, class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> on lips. Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. 
Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash. 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 Hmm? A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We were ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <coughs> Nash? He's my teacher's pet, of course. So we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals! I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> Um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> oh, you're looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need Mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this, then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out, and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect. It's boring. At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast. No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months' detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. Calm down! I can handle Dennis! <laughs> Charge here! I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here! Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow! That's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. Wonder if it still works. <laughs> it does still work. Fingers <laughs> on! <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Gunway! Shame to leave this. <laughs> now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. Go! Nice but I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. 